Hello everyone, Wild Wolf Dolls here. So today, the quote just came, like literally just came. So I was just doing my morning routine and then there was a knock on the door. I was like, ooh, Iris Klops is here because I ordered her. But no, hot couture Claudine knocked on the door instead. So this is what came as on the other side is the shipping label. I'm surprised no one stole it. The box isn't taped to keep it secure. So, if there's a missing door, I won't be very happy. <laughs> but hopefully, inside it will be the it will be the fully flexed Claudine Wolf doll. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to do a full unboxing on camera since, well, unboxing of this part anyway, since it's literally just this. So, this is where we're at at the minute. Anyways. I mean, I knew. I knew that it'd be shiny, but I didn't realise it'd look this nice. All of the pink is shiny chrome. I don't know the real word for it, so don't count me on it. <laughs> and then we have, like, little moon things which are really cutely designed and what I assume to be like the fur jacket that she wears and a love heart and then a the headband that she wears with stars and moons and then her skelet, if that's what it's called, I think it's called a skelet. Um, what is this honey? That's a safety pin and I don't know what that is. Oh and then there's a zip Where's the zip? There's a zip and like different moons here, so that's cute, it's school. And then there's a paw, paw print, and then um, crossed bones, and then safety pins here too. I have no idea if that was caught on any camera because I have no viewfinder. I have a camera with a little screen. <laughs> and then this feels really nice as well. It's obviously faux leather, so. And then with all these little nice bits on it. So yes. So yeah, that's what we're working with. So shall we do the unveiling? So to just wait this tape on it. Oh yeah, and that's all on the back sides. Apart from the back, it's more of Claudine's colour rather than Jackie Dora's colour on the front. So yeah, I ordered Claudine obviously second. But I ordered Frankie first, and I still do not have that bit. No, she's not here. Um, and I've seen a lot of issues with Frankie, and I'm just like, can my queen have a bit more deserving? Right, so it is open. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay, so I forgot there was stuff inside of this. So let's get into that first. So this is her certificate of authenticity. And then on the bag it says, Hey girl, we've got so much to catch up on, including the outfit choice, but we'll talk about that later. Theoristically, it's been like 120 moon, full moons since we last fanged out. Of course I'm still the theorist fashionista to creep the halls of Monster High. Doesn't this clawsome look just make you want to scream? Clear denial, my arch fashion rival is going to completely unravel when she sees this ferocious jacket. Paired with this leather skirt. Howling open toe heels. It's a stroke of fashion genius. Can't wait to see how many screeches I get on my blog when the girls see this freaky fab look. Always a screen catching up with you. Now, can we talk about those shoes? So that's Claudine's diary. Um, I'm sure um, you can find this online if you want to read it. So, here she is. So my first thoughts on Claudine would be that, is she a £60 pound doll? Yes. 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 I paid for this doll. No one gave me this bloody doll. I paid for it. Um, I just feel like she has a lot more quality than the original Gores that came out um, in 2010 or whatever. I have compared the quality of the dolls to um, 13 Wishes. So it turns out I've just been talking and my camera stopped recording. So 
I don't know when I stopped talking. So let's just get into her because I'm really excited to just hold her and touch her. And we have Miss Claudine all out of the box. I think this is an amazing doll. She's really something to look at. She has a lot going on. Let's start with her arm because that's what fell off in the box. So as you can see, it's just her um, 2010 jacket that's been made into a, that she's made into a handbag. And it's weighty, it's heavy, it's, it feels like money. <laughs> um, so yeah, Claudine made this. Look at all the little details. With, it looks to be a collar, and then the faux zip. Then it has this gold metal, gold metal chain. Gold metal chain. Obviously it's just a gold metal chain, but it doesn't feel cheap or anything, which is nice. And then... I don't know if it'll pick it up, but she has a ring that says monster on it. Yeah, she has this gold ring, well, it's like a knuckle duster that wraps around her hand, but I think it's supposed to be a ring. Claudine herself is very pretty. Um, I've said this since she got announced by Monster High. This is the prettiest Claudine that we've been given and I really appreciate her so much. That's why I got her. I'm not a big fan of Claudine, I'm more of a fan of Frankie Stein. But I had to get this one because otherwise I'd feel a lot of regret because I want the ones that look the nicest. Who doesn't? Starting from the top, she has two metal or plastic earrings in one ear and then purple plastic like studded earring in the other. Work. Um, and then you have the spiky headband which is gold and black with the gold studs as you can see. And then her face. I'm loving the bigger eyebrows on Monster High dolls. I don't know why, they just work so well. And her eyes, her eyes are so pretty. There's so much details in the eyes. They're like a yellow or gold. Like they are her original eye colour in general. Um, I don't think I've known her to have a different eye colour throughout the dolls or throughout the series or anything. Like I've only been like a Monster High fan for since... February? Yeah, I appreciate that they didn't do extra eyelashes because um, brats have done it and I don't like the eyelashes on top of eyelashes, it just looks messy. So yes, and then she has a purple smoky eye and she also has, she has orange or gold on her lid, it's the same colour um, on as her eyes almost. And she's winged her eyeliner out like she went for it this morning. She got up and she says, wing time, period. <laughs> and then her lips is just this, like a light purple lip. And then you can see her fangs. This is the same Monster High brush that you'd get, except it's now chrome and pink. She has like a purple fur coat. Yeah, oh, it's so soft. And then it fades into like a light pink and then it fades into a lighter pink and then you can only assume it turns into white and it looks very gorgeous. She has multiple chains. She has a choker with a little like charm, a moon charm I can assume. And then she has multiple chains which is nicely tied down with a clear elastic. This is it is plastic, hard plastic. And then she has a gold slash black like mesh top. So underneath her regular top, there's this pink, green, black um, under shirt. It, is, it doesn't go all the way down, but it is the size of a shirt. And then her skirt is this pleather material with a little bit of tulle underneath, which is really nicely executed. I really appreciate how shiny and how put together this skirt is. It's nicely detailed with faux pockets and the where the zipper would be and with all these little metal details. We really appreciate that. That it, it doesn't feel cheap, it feels nice. And now we're at her shoes. So, well, she wears like these netty sock things. She wears these black socks, which I think one's supposed to be higher than the other. I'm not too sure. And then she's got these um, black open-toed boots on 
with the gold details which is fairly nicely painted I can't see any imperfections which is nice she has this moon on both shoes but on both sides see but I just wanted to show off the front and the side and then at the back she has like these study things but they're not studs they're like little balls sort of thing but I think they're supposed to be studs so yeah it's really nice I think it's supposed to look like leather because that's what vibe it's giving me the stand is just a regular Monster High stand but it, now it's the same colour as the brush it's all chrome pink and then it's clear it, she has a bracelet with like studs and like a charm hanging off it's like a little purse chest thing so her hair is really nice it's around here it's like this light brown colour with some pink underneath I don't think her box hair is too bad on my doll. I think it looks okay. And also her jacket is fully lined with green so there will be no staining on the body. But now sadly we're going to end this review. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe if you feel the need to. It really helps me and it supports me in every way. Please go and follow all of my socials, Wild Wolf Dolls, on TikTok and Instagram. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Goodbye.